Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mike's Garage. Listen, I wanted to tell a little story about uh, once upon a time in Vietnam. <laughs> I guess I could start it out like that, right? They don't want to talk. Listen, um, we're out on location. Uh, we're out there as the mechanics because we uh, one of the dump trucks blew a hydraulic. So we're trying to get it the hydraulics fixed, but the line repaired. So he can dump the asphalt because now it's going to get hard. So we're out there. Um, has to be 15, 20, 30 guys working on the road. We're attached to the 199th Infantry, and they're pulling security. So we got their uh, armored little frog vehicles. They're around. There's a couple of them on foot. Uh, they got a couple uh, trucks that they came in. Uh, they all floated, so they're patrolling, they're looking for things, because we have gotten sniper fire from that area while we're working on the road. And I think it's between two towns called Swanlock and Jire. So we're building this road, the stone's already down, the guys are trying to pour the uh, asphalt, the, you know, the uh, the guys are raking, the, the trucks are dumping the asphalt, the steam, the rollers are going, rolling it down. So we're over there, we got this dump truck on the side of the road. So everybody's got on their jungle hat and a pair of jungle pants and boots. That's it. No shirt, no nothing. I told you that before, I hardly ever wore a shirt. So we're out there, it's hot as hell. And uh, we're in there, got a hydraulic fluid all over us. So here comes this guy. Now he's got, after you're in, in country for um, a couple weeks, okay, you get the you get the green jungle uniforms. But after they wash them, the little mama sons, they beat them on the rocks, wash them in the washboard, in a tub with a washboard, and they lay them out on the stones and dry them in the sun. What It bleaches them, okay? The sun bleaches the color out of them. So now you like got like a, a real light grayish green kind of a uniform. So uh, here comes a guy. And he's walking over, he's got a nice brand new green hat. Perfect, it's on perfect, no sweat band on it, no sweat marks. He's got the green shirt on, it's all folded, the sleeves are all folded up real nice, got his collar all fixed real nice, nice shiny boots. So here he comes. He's got silver bars on top of his black bars, and he's got a silver bar on his hat. So uh, if, you, if you've been in the military, a silver bar is like a second lieutenant. Uh, when you're a full lieutenant, you get a gold bar. So this guy's a rookie, probably fresh out of ROTC, wherever the hell he came from. So he comes walking over, and he says, uh, we all turn, we look at him, and he says, you guys don't have any respect for a superior officer? So <laughs> we're in the middle of the jungle, guy, you know? So one of the guys says to him, look, you get the hell away from us. You're going to draw sniper fire, and I don't want to get killed. The silver bars are reflecting in the sun. You got a brand new green rookie uniform on. You're the guy that they're looking for so they can shoot him. Now get your green ass out of here and take those silver bars. <laughs> take those silver bars off your uniform, you idiot. Well, the lieutenant didn't know what to say because he didn't know what rank we were. We're grease monkeys, and, and we didn't care. <laughs> so uh, he looks at us, he turns around, he walks away, and about an hour later we see him. He's still got the uniform on, the, the silver bars are gone. And he wasn't in our unit, I don't know what he was. If it was he was with the 199th, I don't know who he was. But he wasn't, he wasn't with the engineers. And uh, so about an hour later we see him, and he's off on the side, now he's got a 45 on his hip. Now, the, the jungle shirts come down over your pockets pretty much. So if you wear it on your belt, it covers it. So you can't get to it. You have to lift up your shirt to get to the 45. And the 45 was the old World War II where it was a leather holster and a leather flap going over it. And I think it had a button for a snap, okay? We never use that. You just put the 45 in one pocket and you put the clips in your other pocket, the big side pockets on your pants. That's the way you carried it around, not loaded. 
So he's over there and he's practicing a quick draw. The same moron, right out of right out of ROTC, he's practicing fast drawing his 45. So he's trying to slap the flap up and come down and grab the gun and pull it out and put it out in front of him. So he does that three or four times. The fifth time, it goes off. <laughs> He's got a live round in his chamber while he's trying to practice a quick draw. So he, he, he slaps it back, grabs it, tries to pull it out, and it goes bang, right into the ground right next to his foot. Didn't hit his foot. It was close, though. So he's standing there, and he looks around, and we're all standing there looking at him, clapping. Way to go. You just gave away our position. Everybody's aiming at you. If there's a sniper out there, they're aiming for you. So just stay away from us. Get that shirt off and get a tan for crying out loud. It was crazy. So that, that was one of the stories about somebody comes in, they're a rookie, uh, really not used to what goes on there, what the dangers are. And, and really when you're out working on the roads, that's what you had to worry about. Booby traps, snipers, mines. You didn't go off the road too far because they always booby trapped something. Uh, they always had minesweepers come in in the morning before you worked on the road because they would dig up the stone and put uh, mines in there or booby traps and then cover them up loosely with the stone. So if you went over to step on it or, or put a roller on it to smooth it down because it was sticking up, it usually has something buried there. So the mine sweepers would come in with their metal detectors and they would sweep the area before we could start working again. And the reason we were there to fix the truck was because you couldn't leave the stuff out. If you left the stuff out on the road, I will come back tomorrow and fix it. It'd be gone or it'd be booby trapped or it'd be stripped. Okay. So you couldn't leave it there. So we had to fix it. That's why we were there. I don't know why the lieutenant was there. It was just a funny story about a rookie mistake in a place where you, you can't afford to make mistakes. You get yourself hurt and somebody else hurt. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. I got a few more silly things that happened while we were over there. People endangering other people, not knowing what to do, what the rules are there, and how to survive. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and a comment. I appreciate them. Thanks. Be safe.